Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you a bearish signal on the Bitcoin chart that recently printed and prompted me to open a short position. So if I jump over to the OKX exchange, you can see down here at the bottom of the screen, I currently have a short position opened on BTC USDT perpetual contracts, and it's up almost 30 percent and you can see the price action is currently starting to roll back over now i actually pulled the trigger back in this area at around 42.9 and actually saw this big dip only to bounce back up kind of retest the level it broke down from and now it's rolling back over this is kind of confirmation of the actual trade signal itself so if we jump over here to trading view you can see the one day chart on bitcoin and I currently have the EMA ribbons indicator plotted on the chart along with the Fibonacci retracement. And so what I was looking for was a daily candle to close below the EMA ribbon like you see right here. When the Bitcoin price closed on the daily candle below the ribbon, we saw a sell off. Same thing happened over here when the Bitcoin daily candle closed below the ribbon. We actually saw the big sell off. And so fast forwarding over to yesterday's candle I was watching, I was waiting and I waited for the close of this candle. And when it closed below the ribbon, I pulled the trigger and entered a short position on Bitcoin. And that's the position that is currently open. Now you could wait for confirmation after a close below because you can see on these two candles here, it, the price action did close below only to bounce up, but in reality, that was a temporary bounce as it did end up rolling over into that big sell-off back in May. And so I could have actually waited for the price action to close this daily candle, maybe wait for confirmation on the next candle to confirm we're going lower. But for me personally, what I did was I opened a small position and then at the end of today's candle, I will make a determination whether to add to that position or just to maintain the current position that I hold. If we close down below the 618 level, which I have mentioned in the last video as an important level for Bitcoin's price to hold, and you can see it did close above that position yesterday. However, today it's struggling to get back above that position. And so if Bitcoin does close below the 618 level, I will more than likely add to my current position as this is really looking like we're headed back down perhaps into the 786 level. Now I am actually looking for the 786 level to hold at around 36.5. So I will more than likely start taking profit around the 38,000 level and the pen Depending on how large of a position I have, I will scale out down into the 36.5 level. Now for me, this is a longer term hold position. I normally get out of most of my trades in the same day. However, when I'm trading off of the one day chart, I'm obviously willing to hold the trade for multiple days as I need to allow the action to play out like you see back here. It took several days before it actually reversed. Or as you see in May, it took numerous days before we actually bottomed out. And so the price doesn't have to necessarily go straight down from here. It can actually go down, perhaps bounce up, maybe reject off of the ribbons and then head back down to a lower level. And so therefore I am willing to let this play out. And with that all being said, I already have a predetermined take profit level. And more importantly, I already have a predetermined stop loss already set, ready to go. And that stop loss is actually set below my liquidation level as I am trading with leverage. I do not recommend trading with leverage unless you are a very experienced trader. But because I do often trade these trades with leverage, my stop losses are always set below my liquidation price. And by doing that, I guarantee I will never be liquidated and I will have some ammo left over if I get stopped out. I don't end up going to zero. I always have ammo left over to get back into the fight. And so if I jump back over here to OKX, we can see that the price is continuing to grind its way down. I'm currently up just over 30%. But if I jump over to my open orders, 
You can see that I have a stop order that will close the short side if the take profit level hits around 37,540. Now, I have this set in case I'm not available at the computer to actually manually close out the position. And then my stop loss, you can see, is at 45,409. And the liquidation price for this particular position is right at around 47,000. And so if this trade does not work out as I plan, I put my stop loss just above this 44,000 level where we saw the actual breakdown begin. I want to give it a little room to maneuver in, in case we get some type of bullish test. But right now, I don't foresee that happening. And in time, if the price action continues to move down, I will more than likely move my stop loss down to at a minimum a break even level. And so to quickly recap, what I was looking at as far as the signal was the close of the daily candle below the EMA ribbons that was confirmed. Now, another level of confirmation, you could have waited for today's candle to close below these ribbons and that would definitely be confirmation where again on this particular move here we see it bounce up however on these two moves once we get the close below we continue down so that is kind of what I was looking at also another level that was extremely important to me was this 618 or the 425 level once we broke below that I have a lot more confidence that this trade is going to continue to work in my favor so with that being said, you could certainly wait for today's candle to close. And if it closes below the 42.5 level, to me, that would be additional confirmation that Bitcoin bears are in control of this price action. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. Just wanted to do a quick video on how I actually execute day trades and how I use technical analysis and how I read the charts. So if you like this video, spike a like. If you like this type of video, now would be a good time to shoot the subscribe button. I will continue to do more of these videos in the future. If you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.